So, today, my mom-in-law said that, oh yeah, the pen you made me, I won't take it to work because I'm afraid to lose it. So, I'm gonna make her a special pen that she won't lose. So, stay tuned. So this little brass tubing has to go in here and be set with some adhesive. Um, but before that, I just have to sort of scratch it up so the glue will stick to the brass tubing. And it's have this old sanding pad here I'm even using. It's quite rough. I don't know if you can see, but. Got a little scuffed, I think it's called. Next trick is to take some glue. Have this thick glue I'm using. And I'll just put it down here. Make sure to get it everywhere. Press with this one. Have a little activator spray. Next up, I'm changing the drill into this little thing. So, I put my blank in the machine. I'll just make sure I'm on the right track before I start the machine. I'll start it now. That is all done and ready. It's time to put the blank into the lathe. And I'm doing it like this. Put it in here. And as you can see, this is not going to fit well. So I have a little piece that I'm using. Like this. And an extra ring. This is actually a piece from an old pen project that obviously didn't work. So, tighten the chuck. Tighten this one. Remember, safety gear, very important. As you can see, I'm taking it very slow because I have tried in the past to rush things and I'm just ending up having plastic everywhere and this little piece often just breaks up into pieces and well, it's a waste. On we go. Sometimes there's a little bubble in these <sighs> blanks. And there's only one thing to do, or there's probably many things to do, but one of them is to take some pressurized right power. Make sure that 
the hole from the bubble is clean. Activator. And as you can see, it's hardening up, boiling a little, getting white and dry. Yeah, and very hot. <laughs> yeah. Then on with the sanding. I'm starting out with the 800 grit. Of around 2000 RPMs on the lathe. And very smooth. I'm doing rapid movements from side to side and I think it's preventing me from getting sanding scratches, sort of. So at least it's what's working for me how to get rid of those scratches. And actually now it's a little tricky because one side has a sanding, another side has a Velcro. Look what ha what's happening now. The Velcro side down. Getting shiny. And it's so smooth. Yeah, getting there. Getting there. Then I have some. I actually think they are wet sanding sponges, but yeah, well, I'm using them for this. And uh, it's a series of, I don't know, 10 sponges. But I just use these four when it's on plastic like this so starting with the roughest one and I think it is around 3600 grit and the last one is 12,000 grit it's very important not to hold this one still too long because it will burn as you can see and it's actually it will destroy the surface here so again fast movements from side to side Starting on, starting out in a 1200 RPMs. That's it for the first one. You can actually see it's taking some off. Next one. Next one. This is where I can see from my point of view here that it's something is happening now. It's getting very, very shiny. And I will finish with a coat of wax and a little polish just to conceal those last small miniature scratches if there should be any. So I'll take my Hampshire sheen, gloss finishing wax. Open up. Oh. oh my god, it smells amazing. It's like my dad's old woodworking shop. Then I have this piece of new cloth, and of course, there's a lot of stringing on this. So I'm trying to fold it to get the strings sort of wrapped inside. I know it might be a little nerdy, but 
You know, that's how it works for me. So, I have this beautiful piece of cloth. Take on some wax. Put it on. Um, I have to do it, wax on. Later on, it'll be wax off. <laughs> so, I'll start the lathe and get some heat to this wax. Rub it here and sort of melting it into the material. Oh, to my fingers. Like this. See, the friction will make the cloth a little warmer and the wax a little more liquid or yeah, easier to work with at least. And then I'll take a dry piece cloth again, making this little gift wrapping here, <laughs> trying to at least, and then give it the last polish, and I think we are about good to go, just make a little last one, a little more RPMs, 1500 RPMs, just to keep the heat up, oh my god it's shiny, so, that's it. Next step will be to dismantle the mantle with the pen blank in this one. And I will just remove this one like this. And loosen the screw. Take off all my bushings, even the homemade. The standard bushings. The Pushing that is fitted for this type of pin to the side. My pin material, put this one aside. Then I'm going to take my standard bushings, put them back on because otherwise I can't find them next time I have to use them. And thing. So I'm using my my lathe as a pen press. Um, you can buy a pen press somewhere, but me, I'm using my lathe, and it's. sort of working for me. Next we have the pen blank and the pointy end. I'll try to hold them together and use my lathe as a press. It's not that easy. Perfect. Yeah. And I'll remove this one a little and that's it. Insert put here. I don't know what it's called. An insert? No? No. Then balancing it out. It's not that easy. For some it might be. For me it's not. I think it's about there. Screw this one in. And open it. Yeah, something's happening now. A little more, one or two millimeter. That should be it. Then I'll assemble the rest, and it's basically just pushing these two things together and. I have a pen that can open and close. So what's special about this pen you say? Yeah, well, this was from my mom-in-law and she was afraid to lose it on her job. It's a necklace with a magnet 
So, here you are. Beautiful.